Another brick fan here with a hidden side set. This is Phantom Fire Truck 3000. This is set 70436, was released in August 2020, has 760 pieces, five minifigures, and cost about $60 when it was released. The first thing that grabs me about this set is this brick built figure of Neymar Reem, who's one of the big bad guys inside of the Hidden Side universe. I like how they used a lot of these different pieces in unique ways to kind of create this brick built figure. The stickers on the shoulder pads look really good. I like the metallic sheen that they have with them. We'll get a closer look at Neymar Reem here in a couple of minutes. The other nice thing is the back of this fire truck actually converts into a small mech that can be banned by one of the other minifigures, or in fact, you can fit two minifigures inside of that mech, which is also a very nice touch. Although it doesn't seem to stay on the back of the truck as well as I would like. The Paranormal Intercept Bus 3000 was actually destroyed or lost at the end of the second kind of season of Hidden Side. So this fire truck pulled up kind of at the end. And I think that is where JB decided she was going to create this fire truck as a replacement for her beloved bus. As you can see, there's five minifigures here in addition to the brick built figure. But let's take a look at the fire truck itself right now. Here is the fire truck itself. As you can see, it turned out pretty nicely. I like how the red, it's obviously a red fire truck, then with the gray, and then I like the use of this kind of pale blue as the accents. The wheels are all covered with these spoilers, if you will. The door opens here, and it is definitely wide enough to allow for two minifigures to sit in there. So this is a eight studs wide for the width of the truck plus looks like another two studs here if you include all of the guards around the, the wheels there's storage here on the sides you can see there's a color that interacts with the application we have a fire extinguisher here there's a axe here and then of course you can see this engine number three which you can see in a couple of different places Looking at it from the front, we have our license plate here. We have this ghost sticker up here. Some more stickers back here on our gun turret, which does actually rotate. And the guns can move up and down. So this is a very articulating joint here. And each of the weapons on the sides can move out and in, as well as be rotated up and down. So lots of articulation points here. The other side of the fire truck has some more storage here. Another fire extinguisher and another one of the color pieces here. There's a, also a color piece here. So you have the black and red and you notice the little fronts here rotate as well. So we have a small anti or a small ghost fighting weapon here. Looking in the fire truck, this is where the main color wheel is stored. I like how it's very well integrated into the truck instead of just being off to the side. So that's a very nice touch as well. And then of course, a quick look at the back. So from the rear, you can see how that turret fits on there. Some more colors you know, with the per trans purple here. Use of these nuggets, ingots, here are nice and I like this little bumper sticker for barbecue which I think is pretty cool but as I said the back of this truck actually comes off and you see it does have very few attachment points so there's just the you see just the one by twos here on the back that actually attach this so sometimes you gotta you gotta really try to get it in place but it's nice that the truck can still move without the back on it. Here we have the back in mech form. So you can see the two legs here. There are some knee joints right here. So that helps the feet keep the mech stable. The hips move out and then also backward and forward. So they're on these friction joints here. 
The waste is done with these friction joints here and then a way for it to move swivel here on this piece here. Up top that you have this small cockpit area. As you can see, there's a control panel in here, right here. Some of this trans purple glass, a steering wheel. You can fit two minifigures inside without their accessories. They'll fit right in there. And there is enough room to put two side by side. Also lots of good movement in the arms as they are on friction joints as well. So they will go out wide like this and of course rotate 360 degrees up and down here. More use of these ingot pieces in yellow. You may have seen those accents. These are the accents or the guards around the wheels. So overall nicely done. And I like how it integrates right back into the fire truck. Let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. As I mentioned in the opening, this includes five minifigures along with that brick built figure. The minifigures include Jack, Parker, JB, TV, and a Shadow Walker. Here are our three main characters from the Hidden Side theme. So we start with Jack here on the far left. He's wearing his hoodie. So he's wearing a white hoodie. He's got his red and black hat and a the hoodie is up over his head. So this is one dual molded piece here. He has the same legs he's had throughout here with this little bone piece and the chains and different things. So I like how that's printed down here. He's also carrying his mobile device that helps him fight. The ghosts or the haunted people. Here is Parker with her purple hair and then these, this teal colored headset over the top, so another dual molded headpiece. Got her pink fanny pack that goes around her. If you look closely, you can see this little P on her necklace. And then she has her torn jean look for the legs, which I think turned out pretty good. Would have been nice to see the color matching between the arms and the legs though. So she's maybe she's wearing a jean jacket or a matching shirt. And then we have JB, who's our resident teacher and scientist. And she also has a mobile device. I like her lavender hair or kind of purplish colored hair with her goggles here. I love her Frankenstein t-shirt. And then she has a little ID badge down here and some other accessories there on her lab coat. Moving around the figures. No side printing for any of them. But they've all got decent back printing. So Jack has this red pattern here on the back of his sweatshirt. Parker, you see the fanny pack strap there and then the back of JB's belt here. They all have alternate expressions. So here's Jack with his angry face. Parker with kind of a neutral or maybe even concerned expression. And then here is JB with kind of a scared expression on her face. As we move around the figures, you can get quick look here at the different mobile devices that they have. So you can see each one has their own mobile device. Let's take a quick look at our last two minifigures. Here are the next two minifigures. So this is a shadow walker here on the left and a figure called TV here on the right. The shadow walker is done really nicely with this silver printing and it runs all the way down his legs even to have a little bit of printing on the toes as you see. He has this aggressive looking sword here. He also has this hood piece and he has a clear transparent head here. So this is kind of that trans gray or trans black coloring. TV has a couple of gear shift levers here to indicate antenna. There is a printed two by two tile here with his face. And then down below it has some kind of mechanical looking exposed parts with screws and different screw holes on the legs. Then those are also done in a nice silver. And if you look closely, you can see there's a little bit of printing here on this cross piece. TV is done with one of these two by two 
stud on the side pieces so that he can have two different facial expressions. So here is the other printed tile that comes with him. Obviously a much sadder face for TV. No side printing on either one of these, and as you can, would expect, TV has no back printing. But we do have some nice back printing here on the back of our Shadow Warrior. And as I mentioned, he has this trans black headpiece, so there's no alternate expression on our Shadow Warrior. Let's get a closer look at Neymar Reem, who is our brick-built figure. Here is the brick-built figure. His name is Neymar Reem. And as you can see, it's just using a lot of these curved pieces here, these tube pieces to create the arms and legs. And then the hands are done with this triangular three post piece here. Good articulation. It moves around 360 degrees. And then the arms are actually on a ball joint here. So there is an awful lot of movement available in that. He does have this scepter piece which is done with a lightsaber hilt, this wrench, and then a regular post, and then the one of these newer diamond trans pieces here. And then he has a little clip on the inside of this arm. This is uh, using a robot arm here so that he can hold the scepter in his hand. Moving down to the feet here on him, you can see how it's just made up of a bunch of those claws, and he's on a 6x6 six six round piece there. Some extra build up here in the back using some stud on the side pieces here to ensure that he stays fairly stable. You can also see in the back here has another one of these three post or three bar clip type pieces. The shoulder pads here are done with those Nexo Knight shield pieces with some metallic stickers on them, which I think turned out really nicely. His head is done in this nice pale blue color with a pale with a, with a stud here or a one by one tile, the round jumper plate, and then the printed two by two cylinder, which makes for a really nice look for his face. Overall, it turned out really nicely as a brick built figure. And I think a very interesting use of parts to make for the good boss type ghost here in this set. Let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts on the set. Overall, I really liked this set. It was fun to build. It's got a lot of nice details on it. There's a lot of really good playability with the use of the mech as well as the fire truck. Of course, anytime you have a vehicle, it, it adds to the playability, in my opinion. As I said, the brick-built figure for Neymar Reem is really nice. And I really like the TV character, who actually reminds me a lot of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Another very solid set in the Hidden Side collection. I'm going to go ahead and get started on my next video. And until then, happy building.